Hi and welcome back to Learn Python by Doing number 16. So we're still going to learn about decorators, built-in decorators that Python has to offer to you. And today we're going to talk about a class method decorator. So first we have to define what is a class method. So a class method is a method that is bound to a class rather than its object. Okay, so we can call this uh, class method without even creating an object. So that's cool. And it doesn't, well, as I told you, it doesn't require the creation of a class of a class instance. And class method works with the class since its parameter is always the class itself. Okay, so um, the first argument has to be the class where it's attached. So if we define it like def class method, the first argument has to be the class. Just as we define methods, ordinary methods, um, in a class, the first argument is self, uh, referring to the instance of that class. Self refers to the instance of that class. Now, this CLS refers to the class itself. So let's see this with an example. But first, um, I have to tell you that they are used generally for creating factory methods and what are factory methods well they are methods which returns a class object so they are very very common so that's why this is a very important concept here okay so let's create a class like we did in last time we created this person we created the constructor um, so this is getting the self h and we're saying self dot h is equal to h. So we're not going to use properties and complicate our lives here. We're just going to make like the first version of our person. And well, let's define also a display h um, method here. And it's going to simply print an f string and here we're going to say the age of the person is and self.h. Okay, so nothing fancy with this uh, class. We can pass the age and call the display age method. Okay, so nothing fancy as I said. But suppose we want to create an instance of this class but instead of using the age, we're going to use the birth year. So that's where class methods come in handy. So um, we're going to define this person from birth year, birth year. And as I told you, the first argument needs to be the class itself. So this CLS is referring to this person class. And the second argument is going to be the eight, uh, sorry, the birth year. Okay, so um, we have to wrap this um, with this class method decorator. And also we have to import um, the date from the date time library. So, sorry, from date time import date. And okay, so we are going to return the class. Um, but remember, here we have to pass the age, not the birth year. So first, let's uh, calculate the age. So we're going to create this variable called calculated age, which is going to be we can get the year from today. And we can subtract the birth year. Obviously, we have to take into consideration the month and the day, maybe. But um, we're going to make it simple and do it like this. Okay? And then we pass the calculated age. And that's all. So now we can call this um, class method without even creating an instance of the class. So how do we do that? Well, we say person dot person from birth year and we pass the birth year, which is in this case 
1998 and obviously this needs to be this will return an instance of the class so we have to assign this to person one which will be an object of the person class so let's see person one we can uh, well see the age which is in this case 22 and we can um, call this method uh, sorry display age display age and it's saying that the age of the person is 22 so we have called this class method without creating a, a, a an object uh, so we we can call it without creating an object and assign it to this person one variable which will be an instance of the person class because this is returning a class itself well an instance of the class actually okay so um this is a very important a very important application factory methods are extremely used at least i have uh, seen them in machine learning used a lot and something more technically is that you can for example um i don't know inherit from person so let's create this i don't know employee employee uh, class and it's going to inherit from person okay and okay so when we inherit uh, from this class we are also inheriting the methods in this case person from birth year and this class is not going to do anything so just pass and okay so let's see what happens um let's create this variable employee and we're going to call this person from birth year and let's say this thing here and of course we can display the age and things like that sorry display age so the age of the person is 30 okay but more importantly is that we can see um, the instance of employee so let's see if employee is an instance of the class employee so this is true um yeah so if you didn't understand this last part so don't worry because um this is instance i have to dedicate a video just talking about this is instance but it's uh this class method it's guaranteeing that this employee it's going to be of the type or will be an instance of the class employee so that's all this is a more technical thing here also we can see the type of employee and it's going to be an object of employee okay so don't worry if you didn't understand this part if you understand that we can create instances of the class where this class method is attached then that's nice and well i hope you like this video and see you in the next one where we will still talk about decorators